Hello, welcome back to class. I'm Professor Overclock, and you're here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel. And the big question of the day is, where is my apple? Bing. What? Not this kind of apple, fool! I know you didn't want no stinking apple like that on my channel, huh? But back to the unboxing and overview. So, check it out. I got the MSI Z68 GD80 Gen 3. Now, what does Gen 3 mean? Gen 3 means that it has all the latest, greatest stuff on board and also supports the latest Intel Ivy Bridge processor that's going to be coming out later on this month. That said, let's jump right in, see what comes in the box and check out the features of this cool new motherboard. First off the bat, you're gonna notice the motherboard features military class two hardware. What is military class two hardware? Well, that basically means that it's using the absolute best components that MSI can get their hands on to make the board. It has high C capacitors, solid ferrite choke, and solid caps all around. That's gonna make the motherboard run for a really long time. So let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside the box. Some of the main features, extreme power design, military class two hardware, which you talked about before, multi bios there are two bioses here which means if one of the bioses burns out you can automatically go to the other bios ensuring that your motherboard will always post and boot you have three pci express slots all of them are time 16 power which is very good you also have the supercharger this goes out to your usb ports so that you can charge all of your stuff really well last but not least we have the oc genie 2 which allows one touch overclocking by simply pushing a button on the motherboard now let's go ahead and begin the unboxing go ahead and pop the top there's a lot of stuff here on the top, so I'm just going to go ahead and move the box out and start setting it out here on the table. This is your USB 3.0 output bracket. You also saw earlier we talked about that super power stuff. This will help when you charge your phone or anything into there to help it stay charged and good. We also have a certification of quality. This is the military class 2 hardware, guaranteeing your motherboard is well made. Next up is the rear I.O. It's clearly marked. If you can see all that, it's clearly marked so that you can tell everything that's in there. Go ahead and just set that down. Then we have all these little power pins right here. What these are, when you connect all your wires from your case onto your motherboard, these are all real quick things. You stick them on there and you can clearly see what you're hooking up to the board. Then we're gonna go, there's, this, there's actually quite a bit of stuff in here. We have a set of SATA cables and the power cables, and then another set of SATA cables and its power as well. Then we have the multi-link crossfire cable. Set that down, nice and gold, max little label there. We also have the MSI five-year warranty registration. So if you register the motherboard, you have a five-year warranty. Pretty good stuff there. Most people don't even keep their computers for five years. Some do, but not very many. We also have a quick installation guide. And let's see here. These are things to connect a multimeter to your board. These are little wires right here. If you want to collect a multimeter to your board and check it out, that's what these are used for. We have a pretty much a poster here. Might have the camera and readjust. I'm starting to get quite a bit of stuff here on the table out there. Just try to set that over there. I have the drivers and utility CD. We have two things on the motherboard. All the Z68 stuff features smart response technology. And so here's a book that's gonna explain all that different type of stuff to you. If you guys don't know what smart response technology, it's taking an SSD drive and combining it with a standard hard drive to get semi SSD performance. So. Last but not least, we have the Z68-GD80-G3 manual. All right, so here's the motherboard. You can see it comes in an anti-static package. I've always grinded myself out. I know a lot of you guys who ask about me touching the equipment, I always ground myself out before I do it. You don't have to continually do that. It's not an anal process. So let's check it out. Here's the motherboard itself. You can see it has the military class two hardware insignia right up here on top. I'll actually turn the motherboard this way. And this motherboard looks really nice. The color pattern on here is nice. The blacks and the blues, really cool for people who are making custom end systems. You can see all the MOSFETs are being completely cooled right here. Very good job. Here's the memory right here. You can use up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 in dual channel mode on this board. The ZIF socket has plenty of room around it for putting in the aftermarket heat sink. Like we said before, you know it has solid ferrite chokes and all that stuff that's all around here is evidently seen. Here's one of your power connectors here. Here's the additional VGA power connector we talked about. Right here's your 24 pin power connector. Right here is where you can actually hook up a multimeter directly into the board to do some testing. We have power headers here for your fan. One here on the side by the memory, which is really good because that'll be able to access right there. And we do have an additional one right down here and here. So that's really good. You have a lot of options on the motherboard for hooking up your cooling fans and stuff like that. Looking at the SATA ports, we can see right here, we have one external right here. 
Then we have two black right here provided by the Intel chipset and this one right here provided by the Marvel chipset. Bam, overhead shot, you like that? Now you can see over here, we have the Dr. Moss, like I talked about before, the Dr. Moss helps the motherboard run really well by actually monitoring its power and its cooling functions of the motherboard. I'm gonna spin the board around over here. You guys can see we have one, two PCI 1X slots right here. Then we have one, two, three PCI slots. We talked about these earlier. These are all 16X. Every lane is 16X. So it's not 16, eight and four. It's 16, 16 and 16 all the way down. You can also see right here, here's the bracket for the external USB port. We showed you guys that earlier. Plugged into there, goes out into one of your bays. Here are the buttons for your OC Genie. So basically if you're an overclocker and stuff and you're really new about it, all you have to do is really hit this button and it'll overclock your motherboard. And if you're putting it on a test station, you have reset and CMOS settings right here that you can adjust as well. We're gonna jump over here. You can see it provides THX audio on the board. That's 109 dB, which is great for using Blu-ray sound playback. Okay, so here we're gonna take a look at the rear I.O. We see that we have a combination PS2 keyboard port here. This is good for people who wanna use those old school things. Right here, we have the optical audio. This is for all those people who use digital speakers and such, really good feature. Right here, we have a little button right here for resetting your motherboard. It's really cool for those overclockers and for people who don't wanna to have to actually get into their motherboard to mess with things. We have the external eSATA port here. Above that, we have two USB ports. Then we have the IEEE Firewire port. We have two more of your standard USB ports here. Then over here, we have two of the USB 3.0 ports. And above those are your two RJ45 ports for your internet and such. One thing really cool about this motherboard, it's a fully fleshed out Z68 motherboard. It does provide an HDMI port for your video, which is really cool, and a DVI port. And for those of you guys who want to use your audio old school, you have the 7.1 analog inputs right here. So a very fleshed out rear I.O. So thanks for watching. Today we just brought you the unboxing of the overview of the new MSI Z68 GD80 Gen 3 motherboard. Look for the full review soon here on motherboards.org.